Hi guys, welcome. It's B again from Wagon Wheel Homestead. I thought while I've got the camera and all my stuff out, I'm going to quickly make you a little video on uh, giving you a tip on how to determine the mold volume when your molds are weird and wonderful molds like these or like these. Now, normally with a normal rectangular mold or even a square one you will just go and measure the length width and height but this is very difficult to do it with these and there are some other molds that are even more tricky so this is just a very short video i'm showing you how to determine the volume of that mold and it's very easy you get your scale I'm just putting something on there because my mold is silicone and it's just gonna drape itself around the scale and I'll pop that on there which is difficult enough with just one hand okay now you're gonna tear your scale so it goes back to zero and it's as simple as this you take some water and you pour it in probably as high as you would if you had to fill it with soap and that gives you the weight so one cavity is 25 grams now all you do is because there's 12 cavities on my mold you'll just go and 25 times 12 and that will give you the exact volume that you your mold can hold um, and that's as simple as that and you can do that with every little mold that you have that is just too weird to work out um, by length width and depth um, you get these little round cupcake silicone holders and they just individual uh, you can do the exact same thing if you've got um, 10 of those little cupcake thingies just put one on here fill it as high as you want with your water but make sure it's as high as you're going to want to fill it with soap and that will give you the weight of that one times it by 10 because you've got 10 of those molds and there you've got your batch um, or at least your mold volume. I hope that helped somebody out there. It definitely helped me when I learned that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like my video and catch you soon. Bye.